2023 Lexus RX 350F Sport First Test, Getting Its Mojo Back Pros Attractive Design Simplified Technology Decent Interior Room Cons Lazy Acceleration Occasional Harsh Shifts Soft Ride the Lexus RX was an immediate hit when it made its debut in 1998. Its unibody chassis and thus car-like ride and handling, handsome exterior design, and spacious interior caught the attention of plenty of buyers who wanted to ride higher while sacrificing little to nothing in terms of fuel economy and the luxury car experience. The RX 300 was so good, it became the first motor trend SUV of the year, and the RX has remained a top player in the segment ever since. Now the fifth-generation model has arrived to take over from an RX that was, frankly, losing the plot in terms of driving refinement and design. So, does the 2023 Lexus RX 350, with its new platform, new engine, and reimagined tech, once again stand out in a crowded luxury SUV field? What's new inside? The biggest change inside is the new 14.0-inch touchscreen with Lexus updated infotainment system which includes a much-improved navigation system powered by Google Maps. The entire system is easy to use with voice commands, and there's no real digging through menus to find what you need. It also allows for over-the-air updates so the system can be further refined and add features over time. It wasn't all great, though, a couple of times it took more than 60 seconds to respond after starting the RX 350, the screen was frozen and not reacting. And although the RX350 we drove was a pre-production vehicle, this system has already been deployed in other recent Toyota and Lexus models without suffering a similar issue, so it's possible this was a one-off problem. The rest of the cabin will feel familiar to previous Lexus owners in terms of vibe and materials, but there are changes that make the RX more modern. Among them is the clean center console, which has enough space to accommodate two smartphones and two cup holders. Because the shifter is small, the center console area feels spacious, too. The interior door handles are stylishly designed and can be operated by simply pushing on them with your thumb, instead of pulling with your hand. The materials feel soft and premium from the leather seats to the microsuite on the door panels, and that results in a richer overall experience, still, we do wish Lexus had made the entire instrument cluster digital instead of only fitting a small 7.0-inch display. One thing we didn't really like are the unmarked, reconfigurable buttons on the steering wheel, you can bring up their functions in the head-up display by pressing one of the buttons on the left, but it would be easier and less distracting if they were each devoted to a single function and clearly labeled. More complicated does not always mean better. Rear seat passengers will have enough room to be comfortable, but they won't feel like they're in a living room. What feels quite spacious is the cargo area, which has almost 30 cubic feet of space with the seats up. For now, the 2023 RX350 is only a two-row SUV, a three-row SUV was offered in the prior generation, but it's likely the forthcoming new TX will fill that role moving forward. Goodbye V6, Hello Turbo 4. With the change to the new platform, Lexus ditched the V6 engine, a long-standing RX offering, in favor of a 2.4-liter turbocharged four-cylinder that makes 275 horsepower and 317 lbft of torque. The RX 350's new engine may not be super powerful, but it's acceptable, especially off the line. That said, you know when you're working the four-cylinder hard simply from the sound. The 8-speed automatic transmission isn't super sharp, either, a few times we noted harsh shifts from 3rd to 4th gear at medium throttle. But we recognize the RX 350F Sport isn't a sporty SUV, despite the trim level name. Buyers who consider it will find plenty to like, and we suspect they'll be pleased overall with the way the engine and transmission work together. On bumpy roads, the slightly stiffer suspension that comes with the F Sport package delivered a ride that was pleasant and comfortable, and we like the way it feels that extra bit more controlled. The steering, on the other hand, is too numb, and we wish it delivered a bit more feedback as to what's happening where the tires meet the road. Is the 2023 Lexus RX 350 worth it? Anyone who steps inside the 2023 Lexus RX 350 will be pleased with its modern interior, especially current RX owners. 
The new model is a step up, and the 2023 RX 350 is definitely a competitive offering in one of the market's hottest classes. With our test SUV costing $64,635, it's also a good value for anyone looking to upgrade when compared feature for feature against SUVs from other automakers. The RX once again feels like it should, and that should win at plenty of fans new and old. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.